wow. This is really, really special. What I love is you get that lemongrass, you get those lime leaves too. It's very fragrant. That is nice, and la maki, it's got that nice pandan flavor too. Mm. In this episode, we're gonna show you some of the mouth-watering Malay food you can find here in Malacca. Starting here in Kampong Morton, a traditional Malay village here in Malacca. Nights ago, we were on a Malacca River cruise tour. Private boat tour, y'all. And while cruising down the river of Malacca, we saw people eating right by the river. It's very nice about it that every stalls are owned by family members, brothers, sisters, cousins, and they're all working together to offer you a very traditional Malay dishes. This one is nasi lemak um, with ayam rempa. Now apparently the nasi lemak, they keep running out of it. Good thing we're here early and for sure we have lots of it. And yeah, so I love the feel of it. We're in a kampung right by the river but still in the city. In Kuala Lumpur, there's kampung baru and here in Malacca, there's kampung morten. mentioned that Kampung Morton is kind of like Kampung Baru in KL so it's like a, it's a Malay village it's over 100 years old this one and it's right in the middle of the city that's just a beautiful thing it's, it's preserved in the middle of more of the bustling uh, big buildings around kind of city and it's right on the river so how can you beat eating on the water so this is something we're really excited and we're so hungry and a lot of you ask us too is like how do you eat so much this is part of the reason why we actually have not eaten for a very long time we intermittent fast that's why we ordered a lot of food now, because it's been probably 18 hours since we last ate. So we actually ordered extra piece of chicken. So we got the ayam rempa, the spice fried chicken. But we're so hungry, just like we mentioned, we haven't eaten in a while. We got two pieces of fried chicken. And it's not seeing the mak looks good. I like how they give you a whole bowl of sambal to go with it. And I'm just gonna take a whiff of this nasi first to see, see how it smells. Oh my God. It smells yes. very coconutty, very lamaki. Oh man. Holy <laughs> shit. All right, so I'm gonna go, gotta go in with the hands, try this nasi first. Let's give it a go. Mmm. Mmm. That is nice and lamaki. It's got that nice pandan flavor too. Mmm. With that big bowl of sambal, I'm gonna put a little bit on top. Sambal's nice, it's a little spicy, a little sweet, but this I am Rempa, calling my name. We got it fresh out of the fryer. They just are open when we got here. We may be the first customer of the day. So, so they were just frying the ayam, yep. the chicken, and man, it looks so fresh and it's still hot. I'm having a hard time eating it. That's that golden brown skin on here. Yeah, my hand, it's already hot. I'm gonna take a bite. Very nice turmeric flavor. That's what I love about Ayan Rampa, like frying chicken with turmeric is just magical combination. I wish more people would fry their chicken with turmeric because it just adds such a nice flavor to it. Chicken is extremely juicy. It's gonna go so well mixing this all together. I'm gonna mix in ikan belis, the peanuts, the egg, the sambal, the chicken all together. nice riverside nasi lemak on a beautiful evening how can you go wrong like really it's so nice to sit on this river in Malacca having the river in Malacca is really one of the signature attractions in the city and 
so nice just to come, you eat this, and come walk around, explore the Malay village here, the Malay Campo. So it also caught our attention that we, as we were waiting for our nasi lemak and uh, I am going to be freshly fried, we noticed uh, these little parcels right here, they're called pepes. Pepes we've had a couple of times in Malaysia, we just haven't highlighted them in a video yet, but they remind us a lot of kotak kotak, but the difference is they're more condensed. They're kind of in a smaller package and inside is the minced fish with different spices, but the little package inside with the minced fish and spices is much denser. It's actually really juicy. So when you open it up, you can see the juices kind of come out of it. And I'm gonna take a bite. This one just looks so good. I love just unwrapping this. It's like a package. It's like a, it's like a present every time. One of our favorite kinds of food is just wrapped in banana leaves like this. So it's really soft. You just squeeze it, there's juice coming out of it. It's so soft. Let's take a bite. Mm. And there's so much flavor in here. I feel there's like a little bit of Maybe some Thai basil in here too to go with like some lemongrass, just buy some chilies, other spices. There's so much in here. I can't even count all of them. Maybe some galangal too. It just packs so much flavor for every bite. This little morsel here just has so much flavor in it. I love that. And it's not fishy. It's got the minced fish, but it's not fishy. Man, I can eat like 40 of these. No problem. If I didn't eat this nasi I probably would order about 40 of them. So we're here at Perhentian Kue Kampong. This place looks like a medansalara, but it's mostly a, a lot of kue here, but not just kue, they also have main dishes, like what we're about to have today. Perhentian Kue Kampong is like your one-stop shop for Malay food here in Malacca. been here once they didn't have everything we wanted but now we're here we've got this crazy spread we haven't eaten in a while so we're really prepared for this moment man so we got a mix of savory and sweet first thing we're going to talk about here is the asam pedas asam pedas we've had it before in johor well i'll put a card up here for that video if you want to check that out their style is quite different than here at the malacca malacca this is a signature dish asam pedas you'll see stalls everywhere restaurants everywhere we've tried Four types, including this one. This is our favorite to date. This one is actually a branch of a very popular place that's more outside of the city. It's called Sampedas Pakman. So this one is nice because it's much closer to the center of the city. You don't have to take a long grab ride. You don't have to drive too far away. And we got two types. We have the Daging Tatel. It's the beef meat, beef tendon, all the good stuff here. And we have the Ikam Kari, the Stingray. This gravy just looks so rich, red. It's covered in spices too. You can see there's lots of uh, lemongrass shards in here. Really excited. Take some of this dogging to tell, put it on the rice. This dish is perfect with rice. Get a nice healthy bite right here. So the sampa das, the flavor, Assam is sour for the tamarind, padas is spicy, and this dish really has a perfect combo. It's really even a little more towards the Assam, the sour side, which I love. Assam padas, you want to get both those flavors, but it does have that nice spicy kick in there too. What I love is you get that lemongrass, you get those lime leaves too. It's very fragrant. Malacca Assam padas, I've noticed, is that it's a little thicker and more on the oily side, more of the spice blend paste kind of here compared to the Johor version we had, which is more like a soupier kind of gravy, a little less on the oily side. I like both of them. Both are quite different. Both are delicious. You need to do a soak your rice with that gravy, add a little bit of the lor mustine, and then 
see if I can get a little bit of meat in here. Okay, I do have some meat. Mix everything together. Put everything in your mouth. So if you ever decide to come to Perhentian Kue Kampong, please don't also miss this, their ayam golek, which is really good. They roast the chicken with charcoal. this I am Golek here. It's the first time trying it here in Malaysia. So it's a roast chicken. We love roast chicken from all around the world. So we get Peruvian, Filipino, you name it. But this one's really interesting because they're roasting it over charcoal. You can see it just slowly rotating. That, that skin's getting that nice golden brown color. Try this drumstick. So I get some of that skin and the meat. Take a bite by itself first. That smoky flavor is really nice here. The meat's not maybe as juicy as I would hope. Maybe, maybe it didn't come fresh off the roast, but that smoky flavor is delicious. It also comes with this little sauce here. I'm gonna just give it a nice dousing in the sauce. This reminds me of just like classic American barbecue sauce, a little sweet, a little smoky. It's nice, you can come here for an entire meal. Come here for the asampadas, come here for the ayam golek. Try any of the other things here. You can also finish off with kue, the namesake of this shop. What I love too is like, there's a really festive vibe in here. You actually have singing going on in the background and it just feels like, you know, it's called uh, kue kampong. Like, so you really feel like you're in the kampong even though we're really close to the city center. Definitely recommend this spot if you're looking for nice Malay food here in Malacca. We're here at Kwe Kiriya Antarabangsa, Haji Jalil Limbungan. This place has been serving Kwe Kiriya since 1980s. It started as a warong here in Milaka. Kwe Kiriya, this reminds me so much a lot of Kamotiku in the Philippines. It's just that this one is very dense. It's packed with um, kamote or sweet potato. It's so fun watching them. So first, they get sweet potato. Kwekaria is a Malay kwe uh, tea time snack, and man, when I first even heard about this, when I heard the word sweet potato donut, my eyes just like literally lit up and I'm like, have to try this. The funny thing, in New York City, there's something we really love to eat, one of our favorite things to eat, it's called picarones. They're actually Peruvian sweet potato and pumpkin donuts. And I was very curious at the first glance, like how these would compare. I'm gonna take a bite. These are entirely different than those picarones. These are very dense. So the whole thing is filled with a mashed sweet potato, fresh mashed sweet potato. Everything here is made by hand. These are made by the batch, fresh. We actually waited. There was already some already made. We waited about 25 minutes to watch the process and have it made fresh and it's so worth it. These are still hot. So it's very mushy and dense inside. Very like, like mushy, like slight bit chunky too inside and the outside is just slightly crisp from being fried in that hot oil. And what's cool too, they have the gula malaka, the palm sugar, and white sugar mix, and they cook it up in a second pan. So they cook that up, and then once this batch is fried of the donuts, you mix it in with that palm sugar cooked up, mix that together, and you get that nice glaze on the outside. very special. These actually feel, besides being fried, these actually feel somewhat healthy because the whole lot of sweet potato inside. 
You got uh, the sweetness on the outside, it's got the nice earthiness inside and the natural sweetness of that sweet potato. Man, these are extremely addictive. at Barkat Roti Janasti that's been here since 1978 and it's the same thing as Kuekeria where they started at a small stall Ole Ore Warong and turned out to be a, an empire right now here in Malacca. I look kind of like all over the place and so my clothes are wet. It's November and it's monsoon season at this side of the world. And we're having this roti john. So we've tried the roti john in KL, in Titiwangsa, and this is totally different from that roti john. This more, this this the bread looks more of like a baguette, which I'm so excited to stuff my mouth with. What's nice about this roti john, they cut the roll in half and they put the egg mixture on there and they plop it down on the griddle and the flat top. Nice thing about it, you get that egg omelet mixture on both sides. When you lift it up, each side of the bread has it. Everyone's gonna get it even. It's nice. And the funny thing, there's a funny story behind Roti John. So apparently there was a story, it's a Westerner, he was looking for a burger and the stall, they didn't have burgers, so they just made something, bread, they put some egg, mincemeat, and said, oh, here's your roti, John. John's kind of like, just a, just a name just for the foreigners. So that's, that's the story I had read about it with it. It's turned into an iconic dish here, iconic Malay dish here. This roti john looks really interesting. This is a big, looks like a baguette, but as I touch it, it's definitely softer. And it's very unique compared to the other roti john we had tried in Kale, a very famous one in Titi Wangsa. That one was very sloppy, had a lot of sauces on it. This one actually has no sauce. So you lift it up, you take a peek under the hood, you could tell there's this omelet here. I see some scallion. I believe, I read that there's supposed to be sardine in here. I'm gonna taste it and find out. But look at this. For six ringgit, you get a big roti john just like this. They're making it fresh on the griddle. Oh man. Okay, I see some onion here too. It smells so good. It smells just like a nice omelet pressed onto this bread. Let's take a bite. Mm. Ooh. Oh, I like that. Really taste the flavor of that egg. Got a little spice to it too, which I like. Crunchy onions, a little bit of sardine, but it's not like a fishy flavor at all. This is great. I like actually having this without all the sauces, but they do give you a little chili sauce here to dip it with. Let's try that. So the funny thing is that this place only opens up in the late afternoon, early evening, but I could see this being a perfect breakfast, especially with the egg and the bread like this. I would totally eat this for breakfast. So about a breakfast sandwich. I think this would also do well in the US. Maybe they should bring Roti John to the US. say that what Greg said can totally eat this for breakfast but I would still prefer my rice though. This will be just appetizer then. Up next here we are at Kuebadak Warisan. And look at these delicious kueh that we have filled with tauge. I've never had kueh like this. It looks like empanada but inside is just tauge this one is dry and we have one that's also drenched with sauce mm. looks spicy but we'll see have a bite So it's a really special place. It's actually been going in business for 60 years. 
So it's a grandmother's recipe, so it's three generations here. And it's a roadside stall. Really, really like this. Everything's made by hand, fried up fresh. It's really special. And they sell a few different varieties of this kueh badak. So we got, right here, we got the one that's filled with tauge or bean sprouts. We wanted to get it, we got it two different ways. The classic way to get it is they cut it up with scissor. They drench it in this chili sauce. We also ordered some, a couple just by itself so we can taste it. And I want to taste it first by itself before getting to it with the chili sauce. Really taste some shrimp in there too. I like that crunch you get from the tauke. Maybe some other vegetable in here too. I'm not sure if that's radish or something else, but really nice. The shell is really crispy. And like Jumi said, it kind of reminds me of an empanada, like we're used to like Latin America or New York City, but really nice and crisp. I like how this one is very airy and light. Now I'm gonna try it with this chili sauce. Look at that. It's got covered here and that chili. Chili sauce is not very spicy, it has a little bit of a kick, it has some sweetness to it too. But I like how even though this, these pieces of it have absorbed the sauce, it's still crunchy. That's just a testament how crunchy this is. Frying this up, fresh, making it fresh. This one is the Kue Badak Inti. This one has coconut inside, shredded coconut, and it's very yellow. I smell turmeric. Wow, there's lemongrass in here too. There's chili. Man, I haven't even tasted it. I know I'm already gonna love it. <laughs> Whoa. This somehow manages to be sweet and savory. But just that coconut, that lemongrass, that turmeric, it's so yellow inside. And it's so light and crisp. Wow, this is incredible. I like the one with the tauge a lot, but I love this one. Oh my God. Wow, this is really, really special. Definitely recommend. I have not seen this anywhere else in Malaysia. Let us know in the comments how common this kueh is. We have never really seen it or heard of it before. Until we had, we heard about it here in Malacca. Delicious. Grandma? No. <laughs> uh, auntie. Auntie. It's a family business. This oh, yeah. Chekodo pisang. Pisang. This name Chekodo pisang. Chekodo. Uh, so they just gave us this for tapau. So this place has been here for 60 years, but the recipe has been going on for almost 100 years. It started with their great great grandparents um, and everyone who works here mother daughter sister-in-law cousins and they're very 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 nice they're so generous and very hospitable and they're like closing and they're putting their chairs and tables away but we're still here eating and they just gave us a free banana uh, fritter